Welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you how to draw the above tangency problem. To draw the above tangency problem, first you have to start with the vertical center line. After drawing the vertical center line, you have to draw a line 30 degrees from it. You can do so using your 60 degree set square. Next, you have to draw a line perpendicular to the 30 degree line you draw. You can also do so using your 60 degree set square. From the question above, you will see that there's an arc, there's an arc of radius 23 millimeter on this point. So now we adjust my compass to a radius of 23 millimeter. Then I will place my compass on the intersecting point at this point. Then I will produce my arc. Next, I will draw lines perpendicular to this line. That is this 30 degree line. To do so, I will adjust my compass to a radius of 20 millimeter. This is because the lines I want to draw should be 20 millimeter from this line. Then I will place my compass on this point. There is any point on the line. Then I will cut arc. I also place my compass on the top here, like this point. Then I will cut also cut arc. Now I will draw a line across the top of the axe I cut. Next, I will measure 15 mm from this point, as, it, as indicated in the question. You will see that I will mark a point 15 mm from this point. No, the, the point should be 13 mm. I will mark a point 13 mm from this point. From the question, there is an arc here. And the radius of the arc is 30 millimeter. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 30 millimeter. Then I will place my compass on the point I marked. Then I will cut arc on this arc. After that, I will place my compass on the point where I cut the arc. That is where the arc intersects this previous arc. Then I will produce an arc. I will also repeat the same procedure for this side. First, I will, I will mark a point 13 mm from this point here. Then with my compass adjusted to 30 mm, I will place my compass on the point I marked. Then I will cut arc to intersect this previous arc. 
After that, I will place my compass on the point where the arc intersects. Then I will produce another arc. Now, from the question, there's an arc here of radius 53 millimeter. So I will adjust my compass to radius of 53 millimeter. So I will adjust my compass to radius of 53 millimeter. Then I will place my compass on the center that is on this point. Then I will produce the arc. So now I'm done with the top part of the drawing. I will focus on the bottom part of the drawing now. So now, from the question, there are parallel lines this way. And the, these lines are 17 mm from this center line. That means there is a parallel line here and a parallel line here. And the line is 17 mm from this line. So to do so, to draw the parallel line, I will adjust my compass to a radius of 17 mm. Then I will place my compass on the center line. There is any random point, any suitable point. Then I will cut arcs this way. Then I will draw lines across the top of the axe I draw. Now from the question you observe that there is an arc this way and another arc this way. So I am starting with this arc. From the question, the radius of the arc here is 20 mm. So, to produce the arc, I will have to draw a parallel line this way. The line should be parallel to this line. So, to draw the parallel line, first I will adjust my compass to a radius of 20 mm. This is because I want the line to be 20 mm from this line here. Then I will place my compass on this line. There is any suitable point. Then I will produce an arc. I will also place my compass at the bottom here. Then I will produce another arc. Then I will draw a line across the top of the arc. From the question, you observe that this line is an external arc. That is, the arc here is an external arc. So, to produce the external arc, I will add the radius of this arc here and the radius of the arc. And the radius of this arc here is 30 mm. And the radius of the arc I'm about to produce is 20 mm. So, I will add 20 plus 30, which will give us 50 mm. So, I will adjust my compass to a radius of 50 mm. Then I will place my compass on the center of this arc. Remember the center of this arc is this point here. Then I will cut arc on this line I draw. Then I will adjust my compass to a radius equal to the radius of the arc I'm about to draw, which is 20 millimeter. Then I will place my compass on the point where the arc intersects this line. Then I will produce the tangential arc. If your construction is accurate, the arc will just blend with the other arc and the line. Now for the arc this way. I will first draw a line parallel to this line. From the question, you observe that the arc here is 55 millimeter. 
like the radius of the arc. So I will draw a line parallel to this line and 55 millimeter from it. To do so, I will adjust my compass to a radius of 55 millimeter. Then I will place the compass here. And then I will cut an arc. I will also place the compass at the bottom here. Then I will cut another arc. After that, I will draw a line across the top of the axe I cut. Remember the radius of the arc I'm about to produce here is 55 mm. And the radius of this arc here is 53 mm. So, and this arc here is an external arc. To produce the arc, I will add 53 millimeter plus 55 millimeter, which will give me 108 millimeter. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 108 millimeter. Then I will place my compass on the center of this arc here. Remember the center of this arc here is this point. Then I will cut an arc to intersect this line. After that, I will adjust my compass to a radius of 55 mm because the arc I'm about to produce here is 55 mm. Then I will place my compass on the point where the arc intersects this line. So now I will place my compass on this point, then I will produce the arc. At the bottom here, there is a line. The drawing has been completed. All that is left is for me to make bold the parts that are supposed to be bold and also indicate my dimension. Thank you for watching this video. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. If you are having challenge with any of your engineering drawing or technical drawing assignments, you can send the question to the WhatsApp number displayed. I will solve the questions and send a video of the solution to you. It's completely free, it will not cost you a dime.